good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, sisters of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. Let, let me go ahead and be the one to um, at least try to stimulate our conscience and our minds. Um, because I know how people have a, listen to this, listen to this, a passion and a hate for truth. Did you hear what I said? I'm not using passion as in the mode of, okay, people are passionate for truth. Because if you watch people, when truth is discovered and truth is brought directly to the forefront of their conscience and their mind, and it's put directly in front of their face, you're going to find out that the majority of the people in the world, 99% of the people in the world, actually hates and despises the truth. And not only that, they were ridiculed, impugn the character, spurn, and reject anyone who stands for the truth. It makes no difference if they carry a Bible to church every single week. It makes no difference if it is the truth because man has been conditioned to believe lies and love lies and live lies. And when you oppose the lie that they believe, you have to understand people have owned this lie for a long, long time. So now it's a part of their fabric and their makeup. And that's the reason why people today have adopted an attitude called saving face. Because saving face is more important than the actual truth itself. Because, as, hey, you've been living a lie. You've been loving a lie. All this time, you're not about to change what you believe for the actual truth. Well, the nature of this video is because it looks like uh, Warner Brothers has scrapped Mel Gibson's Judas Maccabean film. Judas Maccabees. And, of course... Uh, the the so-called Jews of the world, they always get stirred up over Mel Gibson. And, of course, the news media, you know, the, the, the man, he, he'll stumble, you know, get drunk out in the public or something like that and say something about the Jews. And everybody capitalizes on what he said about the so-called Jews. And I want you to hear my word very, very close because I already know that this video is going to inflame and incense and enrage a lot of people who have no understanding at all because, again, you put forth the tradition of man before the commandment of God. Christians do it. Jews do it. Catholics do it. Muslims do it. All these religions, they do it. They love tradition more than the word of Yah. And that's all there is to it, but that's the fact now. Now, but, you know, people get all incensed and they get all enraged when Mel Gibson makes a film. And, of course, by the time you got finished looking at the passion for the Christ, you probably, you thought you actually got the real account and stuff. But what you got was a sincere, watered-down version of the actual account. And it did not depict the actual role that the so-called, the truth is they're called Yehudims or Yehudahims. But, you know, you call them Jews, been consistent as Jews, and, and people the whole world think that they're Jews. But, hey, I understand. I understand. Um, when people in chaotic ignorance, um, when people uh, refuse to do their own due diligence, do their own research, they have no recourse for their actions or the way they think, you, hey, you're going to believe it. And, hey, I, I met people, and I continue to keep meeting them over and over again. They have defined truth for themselves. I'll give you an example here before I go on here. Is Christmas... The truth, according to the Holy Bible. And if it's not, then why are you stupid Christians out there still celebrating? I, I, I mean, that's my question. Because Jeremiah, in the 10th chapter, emphatically speaks against that pagan, satanic holiday. Now, I know why you do it. Because you're Christians. That's what Christians do. They don't obey the Bible. They ain't plan on obeying the Bible. And they never have obeyed the Bible. And you get mad at me for bringing the truth right up in your face like it should be. And you don't go back and challenge your preacher who would tell you the reason why he got you believing those lies is because it's his job. Can a rabbit lay eggs? What does Easter have to do with anything of the Bible? I mean, where? Where? Where did any of the Israelites ever celebrate Christmas or Easter. Where? I mean, where is it at? I mean, I am a student of the Holy Bible. And I've been reading it for a long, long time. And I can't find one, one authority in the whole entire book. 
But yet still, 99% of the religious people of the world today who call themselves Christians, you know what they do? They still in direct opposition to the Holy Bible keep these pagan satanic holidays and they will defend it tooth and nail until the death. But you will, you know, you're going to go to death, definitely to the lake. You will burn for believing these lies. Hey, let me, let me give you the big one. Let me hit the big one here real quick before I go on. Sunday. Where, where in the King James Version of the Bible has it ever told you that the Most High Yah or Christ himself ever repealed the Sabbath day? Why is it always under so much attack and scrutiny? Oh, I hear the arguments that people make up, but I still see the words. They're still there. They, they hadn't, it hasn't changed. Why do you believe these lies? Why do you love these lies? Why do you live these lies and love these lies? I'll tell you the exact reason why. Because the Messiah said, full well, you will reject the commandment of Yah that you may keep your own tradition. So you know what? In vain do you worship me. That's just the truth. I know you hate it. I know you hate it. It's irrelevant. It makes no difference. Well, anyway, if you people really want to get a good grasp of this Judas Maccabees without even have to go spend a bunch of money on a movie or had hopes for a movie that was going to be in production and it never has materialized, why don't you go get a book that your Christian churches don't want you to have or read itself. You can turn to the book of Maccabees, the first chapter of the book of Maccabees, and you can read the whole entire story for yourself. You can see what really truly happened because you know why? The powers that be today, they don't want you to know what's in this book. Man, they've come up with all types of attacks. They come up, it ain't inspired, it ain't this, it ain't that. Hey, it was in the original 1611 King James Version of the Bible. Somebody... I, either, I, I call it uninspired. But somebody got so-called inspired under a satanic demonic spirit. After 1611 decided to take these books out of you people who continue to keep professing. Listen to me real close to what I said. The religion of Christianity. Let me break this down real simple. Abraham was not a Christian. Isaac was not a Christian. Abraham was not even a Jew. Isaac was not a Jew. Jacob was not a Jew. I know that, I know I lost many of you people already. Abraham was a Hebrew. Isaac was a Hebrew. But they were not Israelites. They were not Israelites. I tell you what. Jacob was the first one who had his name changed to Israel and he had 12 sons and they are uh, in essence they become Israelites. Did you hear what I said? And the whole world has got you duped and deceived because there are people running around and have been running around for a long time and for sure at least since 70, uh, at least since 700 in the 7th century um, who call themselves Jews but they ain't. The whole world is on a delusion that those people in that land that they stole from the Palestinians under Great Britain and the United States under the League of Nations by the Belfort Agreement. They, they've got you convinced that a bunch of, uh, uh, Ashkenazis, Kazarian, Kazarian, watch this, um, uh, Georgia, Russia, Caucasus Mountains, um, Germanic people, are Jews. And you believe this stuff. That's why you have no understanding. That's why you need to read this book right here. But Judas Maccabees was a warrior. A serious warrior. You know what the book of 1 Thessalonians says about the Jews? That's the reason why they make a big stink of today. Whenever Mel Gibson makes a movie like The Passion of Christ. Look, look, listen to what the book says. If you have your King James Version of the Bible, listen to what the book says. All right? Now, I'm going I'm to start at 1 Thessalonians, the second chapter, the 14th verse. Listen to what it says. For ye, brethren, became followers of the churches of God, which in Judea are in Christ Jesus. Look at this. For ye also have suffered like things of your own countrymen, even as they have of the Jews. The Jews persecuted people, anybody who was followers of Christ. Watch this. Who both killed, who did? The Jews did. 
the Lord Jesus and their own prophets and have persecuted us and they please not God and are contrary to all men. Who you th who run in the banking system of the world today? Why you think that uh, Mel Gibson's movie uh, Judas Maccabees has just got finished getting scrapped? What do you think is going on? Do you got eyes? Are they wide open or are they wide shut? You want to know what really truly is going on? Read the history of the United States of America in this book right here and see where they derive their culture from. When you read the book of 1 Maccabees, you're going to get the shock of your life, especially if you claim to be a Christian. Because none of the Israelites, none of the Hebrews were Christians. Jesus was not a Christian. Paul was not a Christian. He was not the first Christian. Peter was not a Christian. None of them was Christian. That's what the Romans called them. They called them Christians because it was a negative derogatory statement. Something that they spurned. You know, a proverb and a byword that they gave to them because they despised them. That's why they sacked Judea in 70 AD. Had nothing to do with Christianity. Christianity is a new religion. It came into being about the 3rd century. 4th century under the Roman Emperor Constantine. I know you're mad. Maybe you'll do something about it. Maybe you'll check me out. Go read the account for yourself. You're going to see the reason why Americans as well as Greeks, Romans, Europeans, um, and uh, uh, all other people who love this thing called a swine. Because it's forbidden in scripture to eat swine. You read this, it's going to even define it even more. You go read the Bible, clearly tells you over in Deuteronomy, um, that Leviticus, surely, you sh surely you want to read it, that swine is an abomination. But here in America, it's a delicacy. You know why? Because they're Greeks, they're Romans, they're Europeans. That's what they do. They, they eat stuff like that. The King James Version tell you that. Now, you get all you people, every time you even read something that has something to do with a vision, first thing you do is try to make that swine divine. Man, I'll tell you, what they've done, our conscience and our mind, it is literally off the chain today. But anyway, hey, these are the ones who killed Christ, the Jews. Then it goes over and it says this. Look what it says. Look at this. Look at this. It says this over in Revelation 2, 9. Look at this. I know thou works in thy tribulation and thy poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blaspheme of them which say that they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. That's clearly telling you if the Messiah is sitting on the throne, giving a revelation to John the Revelator on the Isle of Patmos, speaking to us, speaking to us, all the way down the line, letting us know in the last day what's going to be happening going on. There are people going around saying they're Jews, but they're not. They're a synagogue of Satan. And uh, you people don't know. You people are sitting up here supporting and defending a people who are not even in covenant with Abraham, never have been in covenant with Abraham, and do not have a covenant with Abraham, and do not fit the prophecies of the book. And you messianics go lick their boots. You follow after all that Babylonian Talmudic traditions. Them boogers are Talmudists. That's exactly what they are. I know you're mad and you're upset me. You go wear these pagan so-called star Davids. Man, that is a star Molech. That is star Rimp Fam. That has nothing to do with being a Hebrew or an Israelite at whatsoever at all. But I know it's easier to sit and argue and fight because you've owned the lie for so long rather than listen to what I've got to say because I'm going to tell you the truth. And it's going to be the truth straight away. I know it is. I know it. And it's painful and it hurts bad. But then he turns around and reiterates it. What he says in Revelation 3 now. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say that they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them come to worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. Go read the book of 1 Maccabees. All of it. 1 and 2 Maccabees. If you dare to embark upon the truth. Because you know why? Your life may be changed. Huh? You may be changed. You may come face to face with yourself and see something and come to grips that Satan has got all these religions of the world. I don't care what flavor of Christian you are. You all are satanic. You're not following that book. You're not following that Bible. I don't care how much mental sin. I don't care how much ah, feel good you get and stuff. But if you are contrary, remember true worship is worship in spirit and in truth. In spirit and in truth, you ain't going to have one or the other. I tell you what, you got one soul. And you got one life. It's soon to pass. And only what's done for Christ will last. And what we do now 
while this is our time, we're living and breathing, everything we do is going to echo throughout all of eternity. Check me out.